Loneliness really is a state of mind. You know, it's not, it's not necessarily the absence of people. You can be in the middle of a big city, surrounded by people and desperately lonely, um, desperately lonely. And one meets many people like that. Loneliness is really something that's quite terrible, but it is a state of mind. Uh, often in, in these last, uh, this last year, in company with many other people, I haven't seen anyone for uh, two or three days, hardly spoke with anyone for two or three, certainly not face to face, sometimes on the web, yes, but not face to face. But I can't say that I've been lonely. Now, years ago, I would have been. And why, why not now? Well, because, as I said, I learned the hard way how to grow into silence, how to grow and make solitude a positive in one's life. Um, and where you begin to make solitude, um, respect it and make it a positive in your life, then that in part deals with this problem of loneliness. Now, of course, there is, there is uh, pain for all of us in life. If you've lost, for example, someone who is a, a loving and a uh, companion, a good friend, you are bound, unless you're incredibly insensitive, you're bound to feel the pain of that. And unfortunately, you know, there's uh, pain is a part of life. It's there, it's with us, and you'll feel that pain. But, uh, um, and you will always feel, uh, or many people will always feel that sense of loss. But it doesn't mean to say that you need to fall into despair and fall into um, abject loneliness. Uh, life is a process. We're moving through life. You will die. We, will, we are born. We die. We shall all die eventually. Take life now. Take it one step at a time. This is what I said to myself in captivity. Live for the day. Live for now. Live fully for the moment. Live now. Um, and you will find that as you grow into that, uh, loneliness becomes a thing of the past.